Namaste. This is Ali, and this Yoga Nidra guidance is meant to support you during the new moon time. In the yoga tradition, the new moon time is said to be one of the most powerful times within the natural cycles, within the natural rhythms, to practice yoga nidra. You might think of it as one of the optimal times to go into those deeper states, the void of the state of yoga nidra, the emptiness, the nothingness, yet fullness that comes with that state is like a mirror of the new moon which is simultaneously full. It's still there, yet in the sky appears to be a void of darkness. So simultaneously, there's a sense of nothingness, yet everythingness which is often how one might attempt to describe the state of Yoga Nidra. So as we begin to explore some techniques for hopefully arriving in this state of consciousness, of fullness yet emptiness simultaneously, might you begin to get your body completely comfortable. Notice if you need to adjust your headphones and notice your environment. You might take a moment to create a dark and supportive space around you where you will not be disturbed by the outside world. You might put any devices on do not disturb mode. You might take some time to block out any natural or artificial light that is present. And then beginning to settle into the earth in a comfortable position whether that be on the earth itself, a yoga mat, a mattress, or a reclined seat. Take some time here to find the most optimal position for your body, where you feel cozy and supported bringing along blankets, pillows. You might have an eye covering to block out any of the light that is still present here. So you're finding a cocoon of darkness, relaxation, deeply healing, restful state that we'll explore. It's important to feel comfortable and safe, at ease. So taking your time to notice any of the parts of your body that might need a little bit of adjustment or support. Getting completely comfortable now. And begin to sense gravity. 
allowing your body to become heavy. And with each exhale, you might imagine tension releasing from the body down into the earth beneath you. So any grip or tension that's holding in the body, you're just sort of relaxing open. And when the body gets more and more still, as it relaxes and releases into the earth beneath you. Begin to invite yourself into feeling, sensing, listening, feeling the touch of air on your skin, Sensing the rhythm of your breath and the support beneath your body. Listening to the sounds within your space, the sounds of this recording, following the guidance of my voice, welcoming a sense of feeling held and cradled by the support beneath your body. And on the next inhale, taking a big sip in through the nostrils. Releasing through an open mouth. And then a big sip in through the nostrils. Filling the lungs and releasing with a sigh. And one more time like that, a deep sip in. Audible sigh. And this time, two sips in through the nose. Releasing slowly through an open mouth. Feel your body melting down and down. Two sips in. Effortless exhale, slowly. Releasing deeper and deeper into the earth. And one more time like that. Completely letting go. Slow, slow exhale without any effort as your body melts down. And breath settling back into its natural and peaceful rhythm. Feeling the flow of air within the nostrils. Sensing the flow of air within the right nostril. Sensing the flow of air within the left nostril. And sensing both nostrils and the flow and sensation of air within both nostrils. And now sensing the sound Notice the quality of listening that's present within your ears. And could you begin to imagine or sense 
as if the entire body could listen globally, as if trillions of cells in your body were receptive and listening for sounds in a global way. Trillions of cells open, receptive, listening, the entire body. whole body listening evenly. Welcoming that receptive state as if you were receptive to receiving the benefits of this practice. Letting it all wash through Whole body resting down Receptive Receiving the healing power of deep rest Letting the mind relax down from the world of thinking into sensing. Letting the jaw begin to soften. Relaxing the tongue. Letting the eyes settle back and down. Feeling the skin of your forehead and face. Presence soaking through the entirety of the surface of your body. And drawing attention deep within the innermost core of your body, warm, resting, gently moving with circulation and breath. Each gentle exhale, continuing to settle deeper and deeper into the earth. And begin to welcome a sense of your heart. The presence of your heart space. And from here you might begin to welcome a sankalpa for this practice or you might rest in the sweetness of this void, the space, the cave of the heart, with no intention, or the intention of simply being, nothing to invoke, 
just resting in the presence of your heart space. And now, feeling the whole body resting, resting deeply, you might imagine a dark night sky all around you, and in the darkest of nights, the stars shine ever so brightly. So as we rotate attention through the body, might you imagine yourself basking in this darkness, surrounded by magnificent, luminous stars of the galaxy. Could you bring all of your attention to the sensations inside of your mouth? Without needing to change or alter anything, just welcoming sensations inside the mouth and sensing the teeth, the gums, the roof of the mouth, the walls of the mouth, the whole tongue, a felt sense of the tongue all the way down to the root of the tongue, alive with sensation. And feeling your way towards the interior of the ears, sensing both inner ears. meeting sensations deep within the inner ears towards the folds of the ears, the earlobes, and the whole ear, right and left, listening and receiving sound. Begin to sense the whole scalp and the hair, and attention moving from the back of the head to the crown of the head, to the center of the forehead. Imagine here, at the center of the forehead, you could breathe in and out three times, just imagining. Sensing the right eyebrow, temple, cheekbone, 
the right eye itself. The left brow, temple, cheekbone, the left eye itself, the flow of air inside of the nose, the right nostril, the left nostril, all of the air around the nose and the tips of the nostrils, the upper lip, the lower lip, the center of the throat. Imagine here, at the center of the throat, you could breathe in and out three times. Attention now to the pit of the throat, to the right shoulder, elbow, wrist, palm of the hand, thumb, first finger, second finger, little finger, back to the pit of the throat, left shoulder, elbow, wrist, palm of the hand, thumb, First finger, second finger, third, middle finger, the pit of the throat, the heart center. Imagine you could breathe in and out through the heart center three times. Just a minute. Attention drawing down to the diaphragm. the navel center, the low belly, the right hip, knee, ankle, sole of the foot. The big toe, second toe, third, fourth, little toe, the low belly. the left hip, knee, ankle, 
sole of the foot, big toe, second toe, third, fourth, little toe, and back up the leg to the low belly. The navel. Letting your attention rest here at the navel center. Begin to welcome and sense a diaphragmatic breath. So with as little effort as possible, you're expanding the breath deep down into the belly, letting the diaphragm move down, filling the lungs. On the exhale, the navel gently draws down towards the earth, inhaling, exhaling. Diaphragmatic breath. Belly expands gently in all directions, like a balloon. Exhaling navel draws gently down towards the earth. Continuing to welcome this breath. Allowing this diaphragmatic breath to become more subtle, could you imagine that you could breathe in through the navel, up the midline, towards the mind's eye, the center of the forehead, exhaling back down to the navel center? Inhaling, imagine breathing in through the navel, up the midline, towards the center of the forehead. Exhaling back down to the navel. Breathing in through the navel, up the midline. Mind's eye center. Exhaling back down the midline, just imagining, breathing up the midline, exhaling down the midline. Allowing the breath to become more subtle more natural as you breathe in the navel and up to the mind's eye, exhaling back down. Continuing at your own pace. The next time that you breathe all the way up to the mind's eye center, pausing here, letting your attention rest here as the breath continues to flow naturally, attention resting at the mind's eye center. Imagine you could breathe in and out through the mind's eye, 
inhaling through the center of the forehead, exhaling back out through the forehead. And now, attention dropping down into the center of the throat. You might imagine the moon resting here in the throat center, Chandra. Imagine you could breathe in and out here, in through the throat center, out through the throat center. The moon, imagining the moon resting here in the center of the throat. And now, letting your attention drop down into the heart center, imagining you could breathe in and out through the center of the heart. Just imagining, inhaling through the heart, exhaling back out through the heart. The next time that you inhale, imagine breathing in through the cave of the heart. Exhale, breathing down through the body and out through the toes. Inhaling into the cave of the heart. Exhaling down and out through the toes. Continuing in this way, in through the heart, down and out through the toes on the exhale. Imagining. Breathing in through the heart, exhaling down, down to the toes. Inhaling into the cave of the heart. Exhaling down, down, down.
releasing that and allowing yourself to bask in the darkness of the night sky. Nothing to do. Simply resting in the void of darkness. Basking in the emptiness of the dark and the fullness of the galaxy above simultaneously. ever so slowly begin to welcome the rhythm of your breath, the shape of your body, begin to sense the density beneath you, begin to sense the quality of presence that's here and the emotional tone that's here. Begin to welcome any pearls of wisdom that you might be bringing back from the depths of the ocean of emptiness, of darkness. the fertile void. And just allowing yourself to be resting and integrating for the next few breaths. You might start to deepen your inhale. And release the exhale. times like this. Allow small movements to start in the head and the neck and the fingers and the toes. And take your time, your sweet, sweet time as you slowly reawaken in this gentle integration. You might feel called to take a big stretch of the arms and the legs, or you might feel called to hug in towards yourself and roll to one side. 
take as much time as you need to make these movements at your own pace. And when the time feels right, to slowly re-emerge and rise back up to seated. Make sure that it's on your own timeline. Slow and steady as you come back to the state of Vishva, of waking consciousness. And allow yourself to savor these moments of quietude and deep rest at this new moon time. Know that it is okay to go inward, to do less, to take this time for stillness, meditation, self-care rituals, journaling. You might allow yourself this space each month at the time of the new moon. You might make this particular yoga nidra practice a ritual each new moon, knowing that each day we come to our practice as a different version of ourselves. We're in a constant flux of change, and each time we practice yoga nidra, we emerge as a slightly different version of ourselves. Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy new moon time to you, and I hope that this practice served you in this particular time of the lunation cycle. I would love to hear from you in the comments, so if you'd like to linger a little bit longer in stillness, you might pause this recording or remove your headphones. But if you're feeling called to connect with me, I would love to know how you feel. I would love to know how your yoga nidra practice is benefiting you over time. I would love to know if you have any plans for self-care or ritual during the new moon this month. And I would especially love to hear from you if you are here from our Moon to Moon Restorative Yoga Teacher Training or from our Yoga Nidra Teacher Training. You can let me know how things are going for you. And if you're checking in from a particular part of the journey, you might let me know what module you're on and what you're most excited about in the process so far. What's alive for you at this time? If you'd like to learn more about our online teacher trainings, you can head to my website, alibuthright.com. And know that applications are open for yoga nidra training and restorative yoga teacher training. We enroll new trainees every new moon time, each and every month. So if you'd like to join us, be sure that you get your applications in by the time of the waning moon each month. We have limited spots for each training each month, and 
it would be an honor to dive deeper into the teachings of yoga and yoga philosophy, the natural cycles, and more with you within our inspiring and beautiful online communities who fill up with the most wonderful souls. It is truly magnificent, the human beings that arrive in these trainings and journeys together, and I feel deeply honored to inspire curiosity around the deeper teachings of yoga, and I feel so grateful to witness the incredible transformations that take place within these learning environments. So I thank you once again for being here with me today. Know that you can also find this recording on my website, aliboothroyd.com, where the majority of my recordings are available for download. And this particular one is a beautiful one to repeat during the new moon time. But also, this could be a lovely daily practice. So I thank you once again for being here with me on this journey and this online community. And may you be ever so peaceful, content. May you be happy. May you be healthy. And may you be free. Namaste.